I'm imploring everyone who watches this video to wake up, to awaken to the reality of what the world is. The world is chaotic. The world is negative. The world is sad. The world is suffering. People are backstabbing. People gossip. People bring you down. Their government wants to control and have power over your life. The corporations want your money. People are selfish, greedy. Everything you can imagine, everything you've ever complained in, it's true. Get over it. This is the reality. Now, what we do with this reality is what makes all the difference. I was uh, at a, where was I? Oh, it's actually at Trader Joe's today, and I heard some people complaining about this person to get a break, and why didn't anybody come and help this person out to relieve them? They've been working a long time, and they were tired and blah. Complaining, complaining, that's all we, not all we do, but that's a majority of what we do is get sucked into this negativity and we feel victimless. Instead of that person complaining, pick up the phone and call the boss and say, hey, you know, it's, it's time, can I get a break? Instead of moaning and bitching about how bad your life is and how people treat you and how this person uh, wronged you, pick yourself up by the bootstraps Give yourself a smack in the face, take a cold shower, whatever it does, and empower yourself. We are so victimized. We sue people. We blame people. Nothing's our fault. This person made me feel this way. I'm so sad. Why did they do this? Take responsibility and control of your own inner world. That's all you have. You are the master of what goes on within you. As crappy as life can get, and believe me, I've traveled to third world countries. I've uh, talked to people that had no arms, no legs, um, people that have endured immense suffering, and somehow there are people that are able to see beauty when there is nothing but misfortune. But we want to wallow. We want to just sit in the cesspool of suffering so then embrace it if that's what you want you made your bed sleep in it because many people want to suffer they need to suffer it gives their life validation gets them attention it makes them feel like they're not a success the reason they're not a success is because they're a victim because they're suffering this is the pattern. It's a pattern that we've, we've developed from a very young age that we don't want to take responsibility. Parents reinforce this. Educators reinforce this. And it's this victim mentality. And then we whinge and complain and moan um, on forums, on Reddit, on YouTube videos, how this is bad and this is wrong and I'm against this and I'm against that. Tell me what you're for. What are you for? What do you stand for? And... Please stand for your own personal liberty, your own personal freedom. You don't need to change the government. You don't need to change your parents. You don't need to change your high school, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your job. You have right here, right here within you, the power to completely transform your life by taking responsibility for where it's at. You're taking responsibility for your actions and who you are. You're not a victim. You are a master of your own domain. And it's freedom waking up and, and to realize that. Uh, one of the popular videos I have is uh, Life Sucks. And it gets a lot of hits and it gets a lot, especially amongst uh, teenagers and high schoolers. And you should read the comments how people, how depressed, how down, how negative people are. And that's why they're attracted to that video. And they want everyone else to suck everyone in and to wallow in the in their misery and their sadness and yes man i went through high school it is a bitch it is tough other kids are cruel mean and vindictive and they'll tease you they'll backstab you this is life our expectations are so unrealistic about what life should be and how people should treat us and Life, we, we got this fantasy that life should be perfect, that I should be perfect, that I should do things right, I should be a success, I should make something of my life, I should become someone. Where did this come from? This is false illusions that we feed ourselves, that we feed our children, and then we can't understand why they're so unhappy. Life sucks. Get over it.
That, that's all there is to it. Move on and just take the reins and start today anew. Start today saying that I, what goes on in here, because it's not what goes on in the outer world, that is the big lie. That is the big illusion that we base how we feel within what happens externally. Yes, it's a roller coaster. There's highs and lows. But what do we do with that? When we're down in a low, do we just sit and cry and sorrow? Maybe there's space for that. Yes, we need to allow ourselves sorrow. But then we find empowerment in the sorrow. We find a release in the grieving. And we say, "What? Well, how can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? How can I take this experience? Because the human spirit needs suffering. It needs it. Without suffering, we can't grow. With You just look at anything. Without sacrifice, you can't achieve. You can't succeed. You can't become the, the being, the person that you want to be. You need to fail. You need to fall on your face. You need to strike out. Man, just embrace it. Embrace all the colors of the rainbow and take responsibility. Nothing. If you get nothing from this video, take responsibility and notice your language when you're where your fingers pointing. They did this. I feel I'm angry because of them, because of, of her, because of uh, the government, because of uh, blame, blame, blame. And turn that finger and empower yourself and say, I'm responsible for my inner world.